So, uh, this is behind the scenes of the launch prep Derby tonight with Caroline Haig and I. Really looking forward to it at St. Benedict School. So, Miss Hostess with the Mostess is in the kitchen. <laughs> chopping, chopping. When she came to work for KSF. And she's had another, she's got a new role today that will be uh, bestowed on her in the next few <laughs> weeks. Top secret role. Top secret. <laughs> But something else that Lauren will be doing. <laughs> okay, so what are we doing tonight for the launch? Right, so we're doing chicken curry, um, chicken stew, vegetable soup, um, the standard canapes, of obviously. Course, obviously. And then um, cauliflower rice, salads. Of course. And Lauren yes. loves a stew, I must say. I do love a stew. Let's see what's going on. I don't know if we did. Oh, so we've got vegetable stew going there. We've got our favourite slow cookers. Good job we've got <laughs> we've got like a slow cooker family. inflammatory food just for a short time and see how you feel because I mean I've done this diet with thousands and thousands of people around the country and you know within a couple of weeks a couple of days if you pull out food that causes you inflammation the first thing you happen is you drop body fat around your middle because if you've got digestive problems or gut problems because of the food that you're eating is causing you inflammation as soon as you pull it out Ooh, you see a massive difference around your midsection. You really do. Uh, because the cells become cleansed, the liver becomes cleansed, you start to have more energy because your body's not having to fight this inflammation. You know, so if you're perhaps dealing with any skin problems, eczema, asthma, massive ones, they probably could be to do with dairy. So if you pull the dairy out, change your milk for your almond milk, you know, change your margarine, get rid of all your fake margarine, go back to real butter, you know, your um, grass-fed butter, your Kerrygold butter, that's the best one. Dress cooking your food with coconut oil. Makes a massive impact internally. And you see the, the difference really, really quickly. She looks phenomenal. She's trained twice a day, but I don't know how. She's been getting up at four, doing a cardio, if you follow her, and, um, you know, she's just got such a wealth of experience, so I'm really excited because she's going to be running the class here. So I'll hand it over to Caroline and she'll tell you her story because it's really interesting. Thank you. Yes, I can get up on stage in a bikini and <laughs> be judged by a panel of people, but actually getting up and standing and talking in front of uh, all of you is actually very, very nerve-wracking, mm -hmm. so uh, do bear with me. But, um, yeah, I just want to just tell you a little bit about me, because anybody that may have seen my pictures has, you know, perhaps seen the shape that I've actually got in, but I just want to sort of share that that's not always been my journey, and um, I didn't do it by myself either. Yes, I was the person that was committed and disciplined and um, very focused on a goal, but, you know, I did it with the help of somebody that educated and helped me. So that's why now I want to put myself in a position where I can help and inspire others. Um, because your journey is about a community and it is about, you know, following people that inspire you and getting the right kind of knowledge. Um, so my journey in the fitness industry started about, about, about 20 years ago now. I was um, one of those who became a fitness and aerobics instructor um, in some of the commercial gyms. Um, and then I kind of went into sort of different roles within the health clubs, but I had a, a big passion for health and fitness. 
Um, but then when I got to about the age of 30, I completely left the industry um, and went into something completely different where my job became more sedentary. Um, I wasn't around sort of fitness on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, things changed for me personally. Um, it was a new sort of decade for me where um, I got married and, and had a, a child, so I, I started a family. Um, and I think it's sort of at that time for me personally where, um, and it does happen to women, where you actually lose your identity a little bit because you suddenly become a mum and a wife and you, you juggle in your, your job as well. And you go from being a single person to suddenly responsible for, for a family. So it was probably at that time and also having had a child that my body just didn't bounce back quite as easily as perhaps what it did. Um, in my 20s. Um, definitely had a lot more ailments, um, suffered from things like a low back pain, um, I had a hip issue after having uh, my little boy, um, IBS, frequent colds, just generally it was at a stage in my life where I just didn't feel great, um, didn't particularly like the way I, the way I looked. Um, so that really took me on a journey of, of self-discovery. I was sort of seeing 40 in the, in, the, in the future and thinking, it's only going to get harder if I don't get control now. So I went through some personal issues um, where I went through a divorce, so I ended up becoming a, a single parent and just became responsible for everything, you know, on my own, which, you know, it's, it's quite, it was quite a tough journey. So I decided, I followed social media, and there was people on, on social media that inspired me, and I just thought, I am going to completely transform myself. I'm going to get myself a coach, I'm going to educate myself, and I'm going to really, really focus on getting myself in the best shape that I possibly can. And I wanted to do this, my goal was, before I, I reached 40. Um, because back when I trained in my younger days, I never made any correlation between fitness and nutrition. I just thought you cut back when you want to lose a bit of weight and you exercise more. And I think we've all sort of, you know, we've, we've all been there. Um, so, yeah, I um, learned everything that I possibly could and used myself as a, as a canvas um, to really find out what it takes to get in amazing shape. So, I was fortunate that I had an amazing mentor and it enabled me to get on stage and compete in some, in, you know, some shows. Um, but I want you to know that you know all of that I did alongside running a family and working full time. So I do understand the daily stresses and I do understand that people need motivation and you need, you know, you need help with it all. So I took this year off competing. Um, I'm just further advancing my nutritional studies at the moment because um, it's just something that I'm massively passionate about. And I decided to collaborate with Rachel and, and join in the Kickstart sort of lifestyle because what I do in terms of my fitness journey is extreme, and I and I know that, and it's not for everybody. Um, but I believe that Kickstart is for all women, and it's something that all women can can achieve because. We all want to strive, really. Um, we want to strive for balance. We all want to be happier. Um, you know, we all. Yes, people generally, if they come to these types of classes, they want to lose. They want to lose weight. Um, but you just want to feel more positive. Um, so for me, it's about taking you on a journey, educating you. Um, I over the eight-week course. Um, Yes, you will come and you will do a class and you will have um, nutritional information. But it's really just for you to have somebody to be accountable to. Somebody that can help you achieve whatever it is that you want to achieve. So I'm really excited to be part of um, the team and bring it to Derby, which is my hometown. Um, and the good thing about it, because like Rachel was saying, when people... Um, decide to, to change or they want to go on a diet or a new diet, um, you definitely do have this thing in your mind where you think, right, I'm going to cut back, um, I'm going to do more. Um, and you do, you go round and round in this cycle, this this yo-yo, this and that's why the weight loss industry and the slimming clubs are so successful because they just get you in this cycle of putting on weight, losing weight, put a bit more weight on, lose weight, you know, and, it, and it, it's just this perpetuating cycle. And the missing link really is the big rocks, like Rachel said. It's the nutrition, it's your hormones, your sleep, your stress, 
healthy lifestyle and it's about getting them all in balance. So I have taken myself to the extreme, but I just want to help you find the happy medium, the balance, um, and just really help you utilise my knowledge and my experience um, to get whatever it is that you want to achieve out of, of this process. So, yeah.